Hey everybody, welcome back to the second episode of my 30 Days to Die series. So it is the morning of day two, um, 3.55, in another four minutes now, and the sun will officially be up. The zombies will not be running anymore, they'll be walking again. So we're going to head out right after that, just to get a jump on the day. Nice. The music signifies that the zombies are now walking in. I didn't hear anything during the night. Um... So the day-night cycle in this is, in you know, in real lifetime, it's 45 minutes for the day and uh, 15 minutes for the nighttime, which you, it's like all real-time waiting out, so you kind of have to wait for that, unfortunately. Uh, is this guy thing in it? Nothing. All right, now I did remember, kind of, as I was waiting for the morning to come along, that in here, uh, in the uh, junkyard here, if we can find a good place to break in, is this metal? It's metal. I have to break through that. Let's just go like right. Is this wood? It's all metal. Uh, we're going to go through here. Uh, so um, in this actual junkyard, on top of one of the dumpsters, there's a like zombie right there. Maybe you can help me break. On top of one of the dumpsters, there's a cooking pot. So we're going to break in here. Got our metal bat now. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for helping out. Okay, so we're going to go through this place. Let's grab a bit of metal here. I'm really interested just in getting that cooking pot. Um, but we'll grab whatever else we can here. Scrap that. The brass you can sell at the trader. Um, but I generally hang on to it because later on we're going to need to make um, ammunition for weapons. Nails yeah, will be good later on. I don't like just throwing stuff away. There it is, right up there. The cooking pot, right there. So we're going to get this guy out of the way. And we will go get ourselves that cooking pot and then cook up our bacon and... I'm not sure where you're going. Bacon and eggs. Sometimes the AI gets a little weird. Trying to get some headshots on this guy. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. All right, let's just get up here. We had a couple of extra frames last night. There we go. Search a bit of this trash. I hear another zombie around here too. So we can get some sneak damage. There's a guy right there. I think that's it though. Two of them. Okay. Might as well go for the free XP. Ooh, one shotted. Two shotted. Suits in here. We can pick up a gun or something. Oh yeah, finally a sporting rifle. Nice. It's a single shot. I mean, it's not the best, but we'll take it. And then we can just kind of jump over here. Check this garbage out, and then we'll get out of here. Gonna go back and cook up our bacon and eggs. We got some food on us during the day. Definitely gonna need the food. So we don't need to search for a cooking pot today. So I think what we'll do... Good enough. Let's grab our frame and get out of here. Go back and do some cooking. And then... Um, I think I want to go out to the uh, forest biome to see if we can find a town. Spend a little time going looking for a town. So we can get out of here. We'll leave this as a secondary base for when we're in this place, this part of town. We can come back to it. So let's just drop off this stuff. And we need the cooking pot down here. Let's bring out 30 and 12. That should be enough. Okay, cooking pot goes in, and then we say bacon and eggs, all of them, one minute and 17, so we put some wood in, fuel, 140, it's plenty, let's cook them all, and let's go see if we can get some water too. So we can go up here, let's go up here, 
and break our way in right here. I think it's right here we can break our way in. So this water tower should have a bunch of water in it. Now I don't know, I don't think it evaporates. But we're going to cover it back up when we're done here. Uh, apparently that's not it. Here. At least we're getting some iron out of this. You notice our stamina is dropping already again. Uh-huh. Alright, there we go. There's our water. Alright, so now we just take our glass jaws and right-click down here. Pick up a little bit of water. Murky water, anyway, which we can now just do that with. I don't think it, I don't think it'll evaporate, but at least if we put a block over it, maybe it won't. Did we check this garbage out? We did not. Not that it has anything in it anyway. It's got a bit more wood here. Uh, now that we can have our murky water, we can go back and we can just cook it up. Cook it up. Make it fresh water. And then we'll get out of here. Okay, so there's our bacon and eggs. And let's go with this uh, bottled water. Nope, this way. Oh, I guess we could have just kind of got snow too. That's a minute, so I just dropped two of these in. There we go. Get some water. So that was eight of those. So let's get 16 yucca out. Um, there we go. We'll turn this all into yucca juice. Wait for them to finish up here. Yeah, might as well fix our tools while we're at it. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll leave these here. Leave half of our bacon and eggs. Let's put our yucca juice. Oh, did I just take these? Ah, oh, man, really? I meant to say let's leave these here. Um, right. Let's grab five. One more coming. Six. So let's turn six of these into yucca juice while we're going. And we'll put these back so we'll have them on us. And let's get going. We're not wasting time here. Get the bow out. Head off into the forest. Try to avoid stopping for anything here. So it's 6.48 in the morning. We've got like what? Um... 14 and a half hours, 15 and a half hours, something like that. Have to be careful of our stamina, but we'll be all right. Got bacon and eggs, man. We're good. Sprint for a bit, walk for a bit. Maybe we can do some hunting today. Oh, I hear a pig and a zombie. So pig's there. Let's kill this zombie first. These guys have got some reach, so you gotta be careful. Where's that pig at? Walk right into it, buddy. Ah, I missed. Not sure why you stopped, but whatever. There we go. That's a good chunk of meat now. Excellent. The more we get, the better. And we're good with that. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of... Ah, uh, you know what? No, we're going to keep these because we can make uh, glue out of them. Alright. So in here, we shouldn't be as hot, which means we should lose stamina a lot less than we are in the desert. Yeah. Alright. Looking for buildings in all the wrong places. Let's see if we can find a road right there. Let's try and follow that, see where it goes. I don't see anything back that way. So let's go this way.
So we're gonna have to foot it all the way back too, right? So you gotta manage your time successfully, figure out how long it takes to, to get where you're going. I mean, the other thing too is if we find a good place, we can always set up a base there, take a day to run back, grab our stuff and come back the next day. Grab this, grab that. I'm not gonna search everything. We'll grab a few things on the way, but. The only thing I'm worried about running into is a bear. Not just a regular bear, the zombie bears. Because I will definitely run out of stamina before I can get away from them. Nothing. Sometimes you get a map where there's like towns really, really close together. I had a map where there was like two traders just down the road from each other, like in real time, like a two minute, two minute run. You know, it was like, like no time at all. One in one biome, one in another biome. Uh, didn't know if I wanted to waste my time attacking this guy, but sure, why not? I always try and get at least a couple of levels a day to keep those uh, points coming in. This road just ends. Hooray for that! Alright, let's see what's up here. I can't see a damn nothing. And nothing. Zombies in wilderness. And birds' nests. Well, let's go this way. Ooh, tree stump. So tree stumps can sometimes give you honey. And honey is good to stave off infection if you get infected by a zombie. So if you can get some honey, it's a good idea. There we go. Don't always get it. But whenever you can, try and pick it up. Just so you have it on hand. I think in all the games I've played, which really isn't a lot, I've got like infected once, I think. I think if you play on the tougher settings, you get infected a lot more. Oh, there's a... Some stuff over here. Now, I don't know if this is a town or just a collection of buildings, but we're going to go find out. I made a few extra arrows last night too. We got we had 65 to start. Ooh, what's up, buddy? Come on, bird's nest. I really just want eggs at this point. We've got lots of arrows. And I don't know. It's kind of a little bit of a settlement. Oh yeah, here we go. I mean, it's further away from the trader. 2.2 kilometers. But once we have a bicycle, it's going to be easy enough to get there. Yeah, this is really just a small... Not really a settlement, but a bunch of houses. Right, let's see what we got in here. Got somebody sleeping in here. Wake up. You're a crawler and now you're dead. Cause I shot you in the head. Shamway Foods, let's see what we got here. Yeah, some sham, let's just eat that. And scrap this. And I'll pick up the concrete. I'm probably won't be back this way, so I might as well get it now. Got a bit of stamina back. Some oil. Need that for Molotov cocktails. What is this? 
Ooh, some coming to underground mine. Water there too. That's nice. I'll have to remember that. All right, let's go in here. Let's be careful. There's zombies everywhere. What's up, dude? Oh, we got him. Skater boy. Took that one right in the top of the head. Ooh. Right here, dude. Ooh. Now I know for a fact there's people upstairs. Zambonis, Zambonis upstairs. We can get up here quietly enough. I think there's probably somebody in here too. Ah, it's Mo. I missed him. Oh shoot, that's bad. Oh, not that bad. I guess if we can take his head off, it's not bad. Stay down. No, 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 no. Okay, we got both them. That's why you always try and keep the doors closed, because they'll come out and try and kill you. At least they can't use the doors. Ooh, nice. Ooh, shotgun! And a machete, too. Put the shotgun in our tool belt. Machete we'll hang on to because we can't, uh... Oh, there's somebody else. We can't fix it until we get some steel. Ammo. We are going to be loaded down going home. Check the rest of the house first. Scrap that. Take this. Scrap those. Now, is there an attic? Looks like there probably is, but how do I get there? Maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't. Let's use that. Medical supplies. Vitamins, painkillers, nice. Vitamins are good. Glass jar, let's just scrap this. We've already got one. That's better, let's scrap this stuff. Ah, great. A little bit of food poisoning there. What do we got in here? Brass, scrap it, lead. We don't need the plant fibers. The more glass jars we have, the better. Murky water. Got all this, right? Grab that. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this. Probably not coming back here, so might as well grab the uh, fragments while we can. And scrap this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take our point that we got and we're going to put it in strength. So when we level up we can buy the next level of pack meal. We won't be so overloaded. 
Let's take this out of here. So the cloth fragments we can eventually use and we can turn it into like padded armor. It's in here. Oh, we can wear that. And let's scrap this. And we'll scrap these. Hello? Oh yeah, man, more bullets. Got more food in here? No. Nope. Zamboni out there somewhere. Electrical parts. De green dye. Nice. So the green dye isn't just a regular dye. It applies a bonus to whatever you put it into. So in this case, let's check this. And yeah, I don't really want the moldy bread. So let's scrap these. Before we do anything, let's close this door. Let's do so our level 2 compound bow. And get one modifier. We're going to drop it in here. If you watch the damage up here, it increases slightly. So whatever you put it in, will increase the damage on it. So even if you put it in this um, stone pick, it'll do more block damage. Ooh. Shamway Foods. So we're almost the next level. Got another level of pack mule. Don't need the sham sandwiches. Don't need the old tire. It's in the microwave. Take the bottled water. Definitely use that. So let's do this. And let's do this. I don't know if the, I think the honey will stave off the infection too. Got food poisoning. Scrap this. Uh, let's just use the honey. Don't know if it'll make a difference. We can try the vitamins too, but... What are you wrecking back here, buddy? Stop being a jerk. Oh, you got that all over me. You asshole. So the honey didn't work. <sighs> well, I'm not going to use the vitamins. We don't need them right now. Let's go over to this house. Man, my max health is dropping. Don't know what to do now. I, mean, I could take. Let's use that. And use that. You know what? We may have to start heading back. see what happens. Don't know how long we're going to have food poisoning for. Anything in here? A couple of old shamway things? Or old boxes that is? Still not going away. Let's not die on our first uh, outing here. You can use the painkillers. Just want to wait and see if it goes away before we go into this building. Looks like it's kind of slowed down. Now we're still dropping. Know how long it's going to last for. Oh, cooking grill, nice. Let's scrap these. I 
Maybe we can find something in here we can use. Ooh. Just got to make sure. That's the back door. Is it just the one guy who's running upstairs here? There is. See what I mean? They can just drop down on you if you're not careful. the hell up man ooh one shot one shot one kill ooh another one shot one kill nice Always gotta check everywhere, man. See what I mean? Good thing she's slow. Thank you for holding those for me. Are these stairs up? I think they are. Certainly are. this one bit exercise bike uh-huh sneaky bastard who level five all right let's quickly do this okay our food few thing is blah, blah, blah. food poisoning has gone away let's get our uh, pack meal up a little more We're not so encumbered here let's hope for the best out here Okay, one more. Then we'll finish looting this place and go home. Ooh. Getting some good shots now. Totally worth putting those points into. Uh... Oh, yeah, see what I mean. Just when you think you're safe to go back into the water. Just in case. Alright, let's loot this shiz and get out of here. Shotgun Messiah. Let's find some more shotgun rounds. So you don't want to use your guns right away. You want to save them. Another compound bow. Probably end up scrapping that. Uh, we'll wait till we get home. Ooh, silver and gold nuggets. Good for the trader. Ooh, ammo. Ah, steel crossbow bolts. Let's just scrap those. I'm not going to be using the crossbow till later. Right now we don't need to make one. It's just too slow to load. Raw meat. We don't need the uh, old sham sandwiches. Not yet, anyway. Skull cap, good for the snow biome. That one is going to leave. All right, see what we got out here. There's still somebody here. Did you hear that? It sounds like somebody sleeping, like outside or something. Ooh, cash and water. But where? Did we miss a place downstairs? Oh, I did. I passed that one door. It's right underneath here. Let's scrap these. Be very, very quiet. He says as he breaks shit. Alright, let's go in 
Yeah, he heard that. Right here, buddy. Don't wreck anything. Come on. Alright, let's loot over here first. We're going to go around. See if we can get any good clothes out of here. Nothing. Nothing there. Take the paint. Because why not? And we're going to need plastic to make bicycle tires. So we're going to start grabbing this stuff now. More cloth. Always check behind the paintings. Oh, there's another shotgun. Gonna be getting real slow now, though. Definitely have to head back. Three o'clock in the afternoon. We got seven hours. It's in here. Okay, give me a beaker. Grain alcohol and a first aid bandage. I'll take both of those. That's good. Uh, the beakers we're going to need for an alchemy station later on, and I f they're really hard to find. So, the more we find earlier on, the better. We need two of them. Or 762. Another cooking pot. Probably what we'll do is we'll take the cooking pot back with us, and we'll end up... Um, let's scrap the... Well, there's steel arrows. We'll hang on to them. Um... We'll end up uh, taking it with us whenever we go out. So if we do find a new place, we'll have at least a cooking pot with us. So that's it for this place. We have to avoid getting attacked now. We're moving real slow. All right, we got to head back. So on the directional map there, it shows you where your home is and with your bed and everything. So you know what direction to go back to. I mean, I would have known anyway, but I just had one of those directional senses. I guess it's just a very good spatial ability. I'm grabbing some stones, man, because, you know, stones, free stone, man. Unless I got to dig up. All right, let's just keep going. I'm going to use the stones as a... Uh, Reason to stop and get uh, stamina back. As long as we can keep finding them. Come on, buddy. I need to see if we can get another level today. Oh! Did you just see that? You didn't even keep my arrow. Dirty bastard. Man, those trees don't give you much, but I hit them up anyway. Scrap that. We are slow. Heard a zombie, but I don't see him anywhere. Oh, right there. Speak of the devil. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm getting pretty good with these arrows. You gotta be careful fighting zombies when you're this sluggish. If you don't knock them down, they can get up on you pretty darn quick. Just gotta be careful. Yeah, I'm not fighting that guy. If they're in my way, I'll fight them, but... Or in my general direction, that is. Come on. Really hoping to find more eggs. I really am. What's up, dude? Guys like this, you might want to consider shooting arrows at. Because they got this stupid reach that can hit you if you're not 
careful. I've been hit so many times by those guys. Thinking you're keeping your distance, but nope. I think I'll head this way on the road towards the snow biome. And we'll take a look down on the snow biome area, see if there's anything there. Well, we got enough for three more bacon and eggs. One thing I will say is you can always get enough feathers to uh, hold the horde down with for arrows. If you're playing a horde every night, then no. Is all you're doing is working against time before you die. But uh, for seven days to die, I mean, when you're searching around for feathers, it's relatively easy. All right, see if we can get some more XP. I don't think we're going to get uh, another level today. There we go. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. I like pulling the zombies and just waiting for them to come over. You can do other things while you're waiting for the XP to show up. What's up, dude? Thanks for holding that for me. Okay, let's head home. Alright guys, we got a lumberjack here, but we've also got a deer that just ran away because of this jerk. Thank you for holding all those for me. Now yeah, that deer took off on me. Oh, there it is. Nice. Looks shocked, but what can you do? All right, we need to get home. We are super overloaded. Well, here's Mo. What's up, dude? Enjoy the arrows while you can. Oh, nice one. Look how slow we're moving. This is the reason why you do not want to be out fighting zombies when you're over encumbered. We only got one slot left. We don't have any slots left. Never mind. I forgot I was picking up Yucca now. Alright, we're almost home. We got a good loot run today. I was really hoping for more, but... We did okay. We got some water. Trees have started to grow, which is nice. These are raspberries, right? Or blueberries? Blueberries. Gonna hold off harvesting them until later. Got lots of arrows, too. Or lots of uh, feathers, that is. Let's grab a little bit of wood here. Actually, you know what? Let's get inside the house first. So I don't think we're gonna be leaving the desert town. All that's... Ah, oh, soon. Look at this. Oh my god, we're loaded down with shiz. You can see how it makes it difficult to do anything. Alright, let's drop this stuff off. Oh my god. We got like extra arrows. Shot, got shotguns. I guess I could have turned the water into yucca. We are need, we need, are in sorely needing, uh, in need blah, of another bin. This we can get water with. So, 14. I mean, 7, so 35. 
So there we can cook, get those cooking. Uh, to water. So let's get this going. Bacon and eggs. 129, just a couple of these. Okay, get those going. Let's get our murky water. Get those going. Um, probably just need another one here. Throw it there. Bottled water. Cook. And let's go outside and gather some resources before the next day. So we can get stone like right here. We don't have to go anywhere else to get it. It's one of the things we're definitely going to need moving forward is a half decent amount of stone. We're going to need some clay just to make cobblestone with. That's what these brick walls next to us are made of. You make flagstone and then you turn it into brick walls. And these have like 50 or 12, 1200 hit points, but the brick walls that we're making will have uh, 1500. Yeah, we'll drink water and food when we go inside. We got stuffs to do, man. Okay, let's get these trees. They're not fully grown, but we're going to grab them anyway. Just so we have wood on us. Now, one of the reasons why I don't fire the shotgun off is that when you do that, any zombie within ear distance will come come looking. So if you want zombies to come, great, fire it off. If you want to avoid zombies, don't fire it off. It's also like weapon of last resort right now. So if you find yourself in a tight quarter, bring it out, use it. Right now, I don't bother. So if you get like like there's like zombie dogs, you get those things on you, man. You definitely want to pull it out and use it. Get them killed fast. But um, until that point, there's no point in doing it. If you can handle things with your bat and your arrows, do it. Now this is not the most efficient way to use do a tree farm either, but just getting it for now so we can get some wood. Generally you want to wait till these things grow bigger. Alright. We checked all this stuff. So when your um, thirst and everything goes up, your stamina recovery drops severely, as you can tell. So just grab a bit more of this stuff. You always want to try and spend as much of your waking day as you possibly can. Doing as much as you possibly can. So after eating and drinking you can see here that my stamina regen is like way better. Let's get this guy. Over here, buddy. Oh, here. What's up? Nice. Yeah, there, there's the heat. Our level has gone up, so now we're having a harder time. Alright, let's get in the house. Spend that last skill point. Nice. So we are doing okay with the exception of the heat problem. More concrete, more sand, more yucca. We need eight of these out here. I'm gonna turn this water into wine. Actually, we're gonna do the shotgun in here too. I'll sort this out overnight. Um, we'll need to get some more water tomorrow, I think. Well, we still got tons. Let's convert, um, craft those. So we're overheated now. Got to find a way to deal with that. You no, know, this is going to cause problems. 
We want cold resist, or heat resist, I mean. What we have on is better. So there's nighttime. So we're going to end the episode there, guys. Between episodes, most likely what I'll do is um, I will set up a second chest here um, and start putting, um, dividing our stuff up between like organic materials and building materials and stuff. Let's get these feathers. Um, sure. I don't want to carry a lot of stuff on me. All right, that's it for that. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And um, if, you, if you have any comments or whatever or questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.